Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're bringing you another awesome Michael set. It's the brand new Michelson 57 Gen 2. But first of all, are you following us on Instagram? This is mine, this is Rico's. Make sure you follow us and check out our Insta stories. We post our everyday nautical life on Insta stories and also check out my YouTube stories. And pretty please don't forget to follow, like, comment and share at the end of the video. Thanks. All right, let's go. So we're on a swim step. It's got a signature under platform mounted staples, staples, which is really nice. Gives you a lot more space here to walk around. Nice grab rail everywhere. So if you're fishing, trying to pull something up, you, you, know, you can nicely hold on to. If you have heavy seas and you need to be here, you can also click in. It's nice. All right, it's coming up into the cockpit. So this is a 57. 57. 57 yeah. feet. Got it. That's a really good size cockpit. If you guys haven't seen the 43 Gen 2 that we've toured as well, you can check out right here. All right, what do we got here? All right, we got bait tanks. Okay, we got two massive bait tanks <laughs> with nice windows facing forward. Yep, this one's got this crazy cooler Someone here as well. Massive ice chest here. Look how incredible this door is. Wow. It's so big and this is so cute. I really like this about Michelson. <laughs> Super cute. We've got a transom shower. Yeah. Shore power inlet. Yeah. What is underneath there? Oh, I know what's underneath there. You do? Yeah. Oh, wow. So this boat is equipped with a commercial grade ice machine, which would drop the ice into this compartment and then you can use that bucket get the eyes out and put it in the cooler or in one of the fish holes. Engine I compartments guess. we're going to do later. Let's check out this. This must be another hold. That's a, yeah, yep. that's a storage slash fish hold. Massive. No, really, no, no, no. really, really big. And then I don't know what's on the... Oh, there's your... Salt water and fresh water wash downs. downs. Another storage compartment here. Yeah. Yep, here. Right, uh, what do we got here? It's a dead. So hey. great. <laughs> okay, so we got some tackle storage here. Well, lots. Yeah, lots of tackle storage. Lots of tackle already here. Perfect. Someone's been fishing. Storage there, also underneath. Very yep. nice. Got your aft controls here. Bow thruster and uh, engine controls. Really cool. Should we go forward? Yes. Don't forget the rod holder. Lots. Rod holders for days. One of the Michelsons we've toured, a Nomad, had this really cool kind of a drop down mm -hmm. thing. If you guys haven't seen, you can check out the video right here. It's going to be up. Yeah, it's really cool. Okay, let's go forward. There's a grab rails everywhere. What's this here? 
engine intake, air, air intake. That's a nice way how that's kind of hidden. Mm -hmm. Pretty, yeah, looks really cool. That's definitely that's a new feature on the generation two instead of the slits they had before. Kind of, this looks really nice. Yeah, look at the look at the windows. So the generation two is redesigned windows, and it's just this beautiful, slick, really cool windows. Tender up on the deck, David, um, thousand pounds, head marine. Thousand pound capacity? Correct. That's a good size tender on the foredeck. What is that? That's a 13 footer. I think you can even put a 14 footer on here. Yeah. Plenty of space. Yeah. Check out the um, anchor lockers here. This really cool mechanism, mechanism <laughs> to hold it in place. Good. So it doesn't fold on top of you. Nice. Really cool. Well, oh, yeah. that is a proper size windlass. Yeah, if you have to, you know, attend to anything on the windlass or the anchor, you know, raising it or lowering it, you just jump in there. You stand right next to it. Yeah, great access. I mean, it's really nice. Yeah, let's check out the flybridge. And also, these are windows just covered with a mesh. There's a real windows, not painted on windows like some of the manufacturers have of the sport fishing yachts. So it's really nice to be able to actually have windows you can look through and extra, you know, light and everything. Really nice. It's a pretty good walkway, right? Yeah, it feels really solid and nice. As Michelson is a boutique builder, family owned business located right here in San Diego, California. They build just a few boats a year, six to eight boats, and every boat is a semi custom. So you really get to choose your finishes, your layouts, your design of the boat. So you can really be customized to your needs. Going up to the flybridge, it's a real staircase, which is a big deal on any kind of sport fisher. I've been on a sport fisher's 80 feet, you know, sport fishers and with a ladder. So it's really nice to have that. Definitely very safe. Yeah, super nice. All right, you got all your controls here. Two big screens. Yeah, I got Simrad Electronics. The bow thruster control right there. Anchor remote. Uh, this boat is equipped with two 800 horsepower MAN engines. Got your engine controls right there. There's a drink fridge right there. Can you see it? Yeah. Drink fridge right here. The visibility here is really good. Yeah. Very... Oh, look, there's a little, even like a little um, sink and everything here. It's like a little tiny wet bar. Little, really small. You have cup holders built in, which is Rico's big pet peeve when they don't do that. Grab rails everywhere in the heavy seas. Really nice to have these. The sitting area is great. I can see there's tons of storage. I'm not going to open it, but there's storage underneath all these seats. Put stuff. Ah, oh, look at the size of this piping. Another um, docking station back here. So we got the aft facing station here on the flybridge with a really good visibility and down into the cockpit when you're fighting some big fish and trying to wheel it in. Um, just fantastic. This staircase is going up to the tuna car or nest or whatever you want to call that. How is it up there? The view here is pretty spectacular. Ah, amazing. So we've also got controls up here. Got side power bow thruster. Really nice view right here. Spot some tunas. Hello. It's really nice up here. Too bad you can't come up. Nice sitting area right here as well. Oh.
all the enclosures on the Michelsons always look really, really nice. They do a really good job. Totally. All right, going inside. That's a cool feature. Check this out. Well, hello there. Awesome, right? Yeah. All the way down. So cool. Oh, that's so really cool. cool. This is really good size. This would be good to work. Look, you even have bar stools. No, I, I, I could live here. Right? <laughs> okay. I could totally live on this boat. I mean, I haven't seen the master yet and everything, so let's wait. But the salon is amazing. Really cool. Oh yeah, you've got bar stools right here. Such a cute galley. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, uh, look what we got there. I must have dishwasher. Okay, so that's a big dishwasher for a top loader. It's a really nice. I love this uh, this kind of dishwashers on the boats because you can actually put you know bigger um, pots and stuff in mm -hmm. there, which is you know just nice. So that's really cool. Nice. So walk us through the galley. Okie dokie. Um, we've obviously got a sink right here. I always like when the builders do a half half sink cover because you can actually put stuff in here that you don't want to rattle and you know you don't need to kind of put stuff in the, like in between trying to so it's, it's it's really great to be able to do that still can use the sink still can use the counter space so it's pretty cool storage as always big mm -hmm. amount of storage here dishwasher okay that some skinny drawers yeah the fridge is nice and hidden oh Beautiful fridge. Good size. Oh, it's so nice. Thanks great. for the thanks for the cake. Great freezer. Look with drawers and stuff. Great. That's a that's a really good fridge. Yeah. Fantastic size. Cute little built-in coffee maker in here in this little space. It's so cute. You can probably even fit a little um, espresso maker in there, like yeah. one of these skinny ones. Yeah, totally. Storage up here. Yep. Also, drawers here. Bunch of drawers. What is it? A microwave, microwave oven? Microwave oven. Yeah, but it's actually it looks like a really nice one with nice insulation and stuff. Well, that's here. actually bigger than I expected. It. That's nice to have right here. What's that? Water gauge. Actually, good spot to have it. Yeah, it's kind of nice when you're in a kitchen dealing with using water. Yeah. Nice galley. What about the cooktop? Yeah, the cooktop is uh, electric. Everything is electric. It's kind of all what you need. I mean, we, we, we rarely cook with four plates, right? Yeah, we usually use three. Three is kind of great. I mean, you could do more, but I think it's plenty. Yeah, I like got... the layout that they're next to each other. Yeah, and also it doesn't take up as much um, mm -hmm. as much of the counter space the way it's laid out. You can still put stuff around. No, I, I think I wouldn't need bigger than What that. do you think of the windows when you stand in the galley? Amazing. Right? The, the light, the amount of light is really amazing. Okay, we got some gauges there. Oh, correct. What do we got there? Tank, so you could check your tanks. Uh-huh. And then it gives you a little gauge to see what, what that actually means. Mm-hmm. It's got, what, a, four, no. Three different three, tanks, Three yeah. tanks, yeah. Hatch, oh. Okay, that's for the engine um, engine room compartment. It's electric lift. Can so. check that out in a little? Yep. Um, on generator. Generator control and yep. battery charger slash inverter remote. Nice TV. All your gauges. All your breakers, AC breakers and um, low voltage breakers. I like how just simple that is. Ship, shore, love that. I can I couldn't agree more. Um, you know all these fancy yacht uh, management systems, which are great and and look great and everything. If they work, if they don't work. They become a little bit of a pain. This is just simple and it will work. And also, in the case of any kind of emergency and you have someone on board with you that is not really, you know, tech savvy or a boater, and you just go, hey, you go up there and you do this or you do that. Like it's nice to have it nicely labeled, laid out. You know, I mean. It took me a minute to remember on our boat which way I switch between the shore power and the ship power, and so it's it's nice to have it just clean and simple. Really like that. Drink fridge or extra fridge, 
Fabulous. Oh, that looks good right now. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Hey guys, look at that amount of storage in there. Amazing. Yeah, I could fit in here. I did not expect that. That's so cool. If you guys haven't seen on our boat, I also have storage underneath the, our um, couches. But check out the video right here. Mine doesn't look like that. Awesome. Like a, really cool. Like a dining table, which looks like it could lower down to like a coffee table or even potentially a layout pad. Totally. I could totally see that happening here. Yeah, it looks great. The windows are fantastic. And then can you reach the overhead ones or no? So at one point in our life, we looked at an older Michelson that we were thinking of uh, buying as a liveaboard. And there were a few things on that boat that I was just absolutely amazed with. This was one of them. I mean, how awesome is that? So great and attention to detail I like how you know it's nice wood if you actually open it it's not just some ugly unfinished wood behind it's actually all nicely done yeah it looks great love it great rod storage for sure yeah you can Tucked away. you can even double it up and put a you know like a double hanging rod storage if you needed to yeah. put more really great and guys I mean you know you probably know it better than I do but if your rods are stored away and your wife is happy happy wife happy life yeah really like that really awesome Okay, this looks like a lift up storage. Yeah, there's okay, looks me... like there's something underneath the staircase. You guys exploring with us. We have not toured the boat yet, so you are just literally exploring and checking it out like we are it's the first time. Now you can tell how well everything is insulated because you could not hear the AC running on full full blast. Mm. Wow. All right. Okay. And? Wow. Oh yeah, there are cushions here for the for the table that you can make make it into a nice layout area. And it looks like you got your all your batteries down there, which is super easy to get to. Totally. Oh yeah. It's great, great battery access. Awesome. Water maker right here. The filter is really easy to uh, to change and deal with. Storage, storage. extra storage for this area. Pretty sure you could put a washer and dryer here. Pretty sure that could for be done. For sure, for sure. All of this space. Yeah. Washing machine can definitely probably go right here somewhere. Yeah, lots and lots of space here. Really great. And a central vacuum. There we go. It's actually pretty smartly built. So quiet. Alrighty. Which way? Wow, this looks like a mirror image. For a second, I thought it was a mirror here. So. We're going forward. Let's go to the starboard side first. All right. Wow, this TV is whoa, whoa. massive. Wow. Okay. Nice bed. Nice walk around all around here. I'm assuming it's a three cabin layout. It looks like some storage here, storage there. Yep. Space right here. Your windows are here. You've got a hatch right there as well. Nice ventilation. As Michaelson always does a great job of a whole bunch of drawers. Really cool. There's like six there. There are two large ones here. Brilliant. Yeah, there's also a little storage right here in this area. And also. Oh no. Go right there. Looks like just a plain wall, but this actually is a bunk bed that comes down it here. Folds down. Folds down. Simple wall that converts into. No way. Oh, it's heavy. It's really, <laughs> really heavy. Oh. Wow. What? No way. This is really cool. That's amazing. And it's actually a really good size. How cool is that to have that option to have another another single person come on board can share a cabin so cool for Fantastic. kids really cool for kids you can easily have three kids in this space 
really cool. Okay, I'm gonna put it back up. I'll help you. That was a really great cool idea. feature, right? Really cool. All right, now let's go to the port side. Identical cabin, exact same thing with all the same storage, also bunk bed. So if you've got a whole bunch of kids or you have kids that have friends you want to bring along, you can literally have six kids on board in these two cabins. I mean, on this one. yeah, really, really cool. Great, great walk around for VIP. So it's technically two, two VIPs yeah. with the possibility Fantastic of space. bunk. Yeah, really cool. All right, all right. Let's see the master. Okay, let's see. So we've got a shared head for the VIPs. Actually nice, very spacious here. Feels really good. Very, very spacious. Medicine can deep. Yep. Space on top here too. Let's see how the shower is. The shower looks great as well. Yeah, really nice. I mean, the wood is very nice on the boat, right? Like the finishes are mm -hmm. done really well. Here. Also really deep, great for towels and stuff. It's actually a lot, a lot of space here. Yep, a little bench in here. Yeah, it's great. Check out the headroom. Yeah, it's really tall. Yeah, it's uh, it's tall. Mm -hmm. I'm all the way. I'm five seven. Also, you've got extra storage right here as well, and you also have a storage. Oh, you have access right here as well. Should we check out the master? All right, come. On. That's a. Oh, just looking master. Yeah, it's really nice and the wood is just stunning. Like all this woodwork on the sides there, right? Like mm -hmm. the, it looks really amazing. It's got this kind of a classic, classic yacht feel to it, but it, it looks really beautiful. Really nice wood. It's like, it's very soft and really deep storages. Space right there. Hanging locker. Great. TV right there. There's four drawers as well here. Same hanging locker on this side. Also nice and nice and deep hanging locker on this side. Same thing, mirror image. And then right. and sweet head. I think it's the same size, right? I think it's same size as on the other side. Yeah, same thing, pretty much a mirror. Yeah, same thing, deep spaces here, shower. Yeah, it's about. Good size shower. Yeah, it's great, same size. Oh, and somebody nicely put a full length mirror back in the back here. So that's got props in my book. Yep. Yeah. Okie doke. I think it's time for the engine room. All right. Everything feels really solid, really well built. What are you doing? Looking at the engines. Checking out the engine room. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, oh, oh. that is it's a lot of space. humongous. Yep. Someone put a barbecue in there. So I guess if we open up this here, mm -hmm. um, would you mind? Yeah. Oh yeah, there's your ladder. So there's a ladder. I'm going to use that because that engine room is actually pretty deep. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, wow. There's so much space down here. I'm going to go over to the back here. I mean, look at the, the amount of storage space in here. And um, all the access to the through holes if you want to shut them off. Look how clean this looks, guys. So nice. Got your water maker, membranes right here. Big own and Cummins generator, gen set. Lots of space. And the powerhouses. Got your main engine C strainers. All your ray cores. Fantastic. And your 
battery shut off switches. What do we got here? Oh, all our cockpit switches, courtesy lights, underwater lights, bait pumps, and so on. Pretty fast, actually. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. So you got equal, you know, on both sides, above both engines. This kind of hatch is really cool. Okay, this concludes our tour of Michelson 57 Gen 2 sport fishing yacht. I hope you guys really liked it because we both did. Rico is really a big fan. He is like, I like it. All Michelsons are semi custom, so you will be able to design it any way you like. So let us know what you would do in the comments. Also, if you're interested in purchasing a Michelson, you can contact them. All the information will be below in the description. They do not deal with any dealers, so you go directly to the shipyard. It saves you some money and you get to talk directly with them. So it's a really cool perk of having a small boutique builder to deal with. All right, please, as always, comment, subscribe, share, and like. Definitely like. See you guys on the next one. Ciao. Enjoy the outtakes. Speaking of seeing you in the next one, it looks like we just made it that people can still see us. You, see, you guys see that fog mo rolling in? That fog <laughs> is crazy. Wow. We gotta do the thumbnail before the fog okay. covers us. Alright, where is my phone? Oh, your phone. I have my phone. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Are you okay? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. All right. All right. Where? What? You can reveal it behind me. You just go whoop. Oh, that's fine. Whoop. Cool. Go ahead. Ready? Yeah. Uh, what else? We've got two massive, two massive bait. bait tanks. Sorry. Go, go ahead. ahead. No, you go ahead. You go ahead. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, we got a pole. Do we? <laughs> Actually, if I do this one first, then you can no. do it. All right. You haven't seen it yet, but it's coming. Oh, what's that? Mm. I don't know. I don't know either. We're not fishing. It's something. Something to do something with fishing. Something we don't know. Yeah, I don't know what it is. <laughs> If you know what it is, let us know in the comments. <laughs> you gotta get better at this fishing thing. Love me some day heads. Hi. What? Very like sword. Sword. Uh, Nicely finished. Yeah, it's um, and an unsweet master. On I mean, unsweet head. On sweet. And sweet. On and. And sweet. And sweet head. Yeah, another storage. Oh, this oh. is. Fall asleep. Fall asleep.